As a parent, I know how much uncertainty there is around sending your kids back to school during a pandemic. And there's no shortage of confusing or conflicting information out there. So we're talking with a leading infectious disease specialist today from her office. Dr. Barnett, where should parents go to find reliable information on safely sending their children back to school? You're right, there's a lot of information out there. I would say, starting from the very personal level, your best source of information about your own child and your own family situation is your pediatrician. From there, if you're looking for local information, it would be your local or your state health department. Most of these have very good information that you can find on their websites. And on a national level, the CDC still remains the best source of reliable information about COVID that we have available to us. Additionally, the American Academy of Pediatrics has a lot of information that's available to your pediatrician and to parents. It sounds like there's a lot of information out there. So what facts or statistics should parents most pay attention to when it comes to sending their children back to school? That's a great question because you hear so many numbers and so many facts and figures. I think the most helpful number is what proportion of tests in people with no symptoms, in asymptomatic people, are positive in your local area? Because that will tell you how many people who don't have symptoms are still likely to be infected. And the lower that number is, the more comfortable we can feel that there's not a lot of disease in the community. I think another indicator is the, another, the number of new diagnoses every day in your local area. I think death rates are less helpful because they are not as up to date as new infections. The death rate doesn't reflect what's happening today. It may reflect what's happening over a period of time that may be days or weeks ago. So I would look at the number of new cases that are occurring, whether it's increasing or decreasing. And if you happen to be able to see it, the proportion of tests in asymptomatic people that are positive. Thank you for the advice, Dr. Barnett. For Parenting Under Five, I'm Christina Nicholson. Thanks for watching.